How Do Dinosaurs Go to School by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. Scholastic Books. Copyright 2007. How does a dinosaur go to school? Does he walk? Does he ride in a busy carpool? Does he drag his long tail? Is he late for the bus? Does he stomp all four feet? Does he make a big fuss? When he gets to go to school, does the roughhousing and punch? Does he make a quick grab for a classmate's packed lunch? Does he race up the stairs right ahead of the bell? Does he interrupt class with his own show and tell? Does a dinosaur yell? And when the classroom plunked down in his chair, does a dinosaur fidget his tail in the air? Does he growl during chalk talks or roar out of turn? Does he make it too hard for the others to learn? Does he stir up the classroom by making a noise? Does he tease all the girls? Does he pick on the boys? No. A dinosaur carefully raises his hand. He helps out his classmates with projects they've planned. At recess, he plays with a number of friends and he growls at the bullies till bullying ends. He tidies his desk, then he leaps out the door. Good work, good work, little dinosaur. How Do Dinosaurs Go to School by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. A Saturday Night at the Dinosaur Stomp by Carol Diggory Shields, illustrated by Scott Nash. Published by Candlewick Press, copyright 1997. Word went out across the prehistoric slime. Hey, dinosaurs, it's rock and roll time. Slick back your scales and get ready to romp on Saturday night at the dinosaur stomp. By the lava beds and the tar pit shores, on the mountaintops and the rainforest floors, dinosaurs scrubbed their necks and nails. They brushed their teeth and curled their tails. Then ready, set, go, they trampled and tromped, making dinosaur tracks for the dinosaur stomp. Plesiosaurus paddled up with the splash. A pterodactyl family flew on for the bash. Proterosaurus brought along her eggs. Diplodocus and plodded on big fat legs. A batch of bouncing babies followed Mama Myasaur. The last time she counted, she had 24. The old ones gathered in a gossiping bunch, sitting and sipping sweet swamp water punch. Dinosaurs giggled and shuffled and stared, ready to party, but a little bit scared. Then iguanodons shouted, one, two, three, started up the band by waving a tree. Brachiosupior and Ultrasaurus sang Dubop Alubop in a chorus. Ankylosaurus drummed out on his hard-shelled back, Boom a wacka, boom a wacka, whack, whack, whack. Pentaceros tops stood up to perform and blasted a tune on his favorite horn. They played in rhythm, they sang in rhyme, dinosaur music in dinosaur time. Duckbill thought he'd take a chance, asked Allosaurus if she'd like to dance. Trachea winked in a stegosaurus she liked, they danced together spite to spite. The Triassic twist, the Brontosaurus bump, the Raptor rap, and the Jurassic jump. Tricer Tyrannosaurus rex led a conga line. Carnosaurus capered close behind. They rocked and rolled, they twirled and tromped. There never was a party like the dinosaur stomp. The nighttime sky began to glow. Volcanoes put on a fireworks show. The ground was rocking, it started to shake. Those dinosaurs danced up the first earthquake. The party went on, it was so outrageous, they stayed up well past the late Crustaceous. When the Cenozoic dawned, they were tired and beat. They yawned big yawns and put up their feet. And they're still asleep, snoring deep in the swamp, but they'll be back at the next dinosaur stomp. Saturday Night at the Dinosaur Stomp by Carol Diggory Shields, illustrated by Scott Nash.